So I just, just woke up, it's it's something. Hi, I just woke up. It's the morning of day four, I think, of quarantine. Just woke up. So I just woke up, it's, it's something and I, because they rang the doorbell that, which signals that they put food outside. Anyway, I promised my friend to take a picture of the view, so next clip. It's 10, 11 a.m. and the guy from they did their temperature taking thing and the guy just came in and it was like a two second interaction he was just like morning put the stick of a hit and then he it off Here is my breakfast we have yu chen zha tai I'm supplementing it with my apple crips that I brought from home We have yogurt but the ironic thing is that they don't give spoons so at least I brought my own spoon, but I guess they were expecting me to drink it off the cup or something. And we have this, which looks pretty nice. Some udon, is this udon? And, oh my favourite, chai at that. There was a ring at the doorbell, and then the next thing you know, there was this lady lugging this huge carton of water. I think it's because, um, from what I've heard, beating, I mean not beating, just generally in China, the tap water isn't safe to drink even after you boil it. So it's about 1.50pm and because I was having some download issues earlier on this morning, I couldn't actually start doing the editing this morning yet, so I'm doing it now. Hopefully I'll still have time to exercise later, if not I'll just be a, you know, a fat cucumber. Oh, and also another problem that I've run into is the lack the total lack of sweets. I need my sugar, man. Yes, I'm editing. <laughs> and anyways, just a short update. I have found a way to transfer files a lot faster. I'm using this thing called File Transfer via WeChat, where I use the WeChat app on my computer and connect it with the WeChat app on my phone, and it transfers the files. It's, it's amazing. I love it. I've been editing videos for about an hour and a half Thinking about exercising soon Anyways, they just rang the doorbell and took my temperature again Let's finish the workout yeah, as you can see, I am sweating quite profusely. I'm gonna take a bath now. Collis, how are you? Bad. And I think I'm bad la. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, Suzy went to get some food because all of us went to get food and now she is back. Suzy, I'm vlogging. Do you have anything to say? No, I'm tired. Okay, then go to sleep early. And while they struggle with their English, I am painting. Ta-da! Similarly to the previous night, I'll be setting out my goals for tomorrow. So I've actually I've actually wanted to start doing my work. So I've got my friend to remind me to do my chem HBL, bio HBL, and a bio gene quiz. And hopefully I will be able to finish it and have time to turn out another video. And exercise, no, exercise will do that alternatively. Yeah. So that will be my plan for tomorrow. And oh, and on top of that, I want to not wake up at six a.m. Again, because today I woke up at 6 a.m. I don't even know why. <laughs> I just woke up at 6, but I went back to sleep. Hi, I just woke up 
and I scrolled through Instagram using my VPN and then I saw all my classmates posting about their work and it looks like I'm pretty behind so I'm gonna try to do some work after I brush teeth and wash up mm. I think it's one of the few times I woke up this like in the morning and then there's no raindrops on the window which is fantastic so I can take pictures of the view for you guys I tried to dry my clothes yesterday but all not pretty dry yet so I'm gonna blast them with a hair dryer It's also kind of funny because before we came to Shanghai, my mom told me that her friend told her that it was super hot and dry here, so I packed lots of shorts. But then when you come here, it's wet <laughs> and not very hot. I guess the weather changes really quick here. Contrary to popular belief, I haven't watched a single show since coming here, so I'm gonna watch a little bit of Haikyuu as I promised my cousin. As I eat breakfast and after that I'll start doing work, yes. I just finished doing some bio work. Feeling very tired because my sleep was interrupted by them ringing the doorbell a lot of times. And I couldn't really sleep properly. And I don't feel really hungry because I ate the milk and cereal for breakfast on top of whatever they gave. So, right now I'm gonna nap. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Okay, it's hungry, so I started eating first. But today's meal looks really good, except for the seaweed, which I probably won't touch. It's the morning of day 4, I think, of quarantine. Just woke up, but I don't want to wake up, so I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> I just woke up, it's 10, 10 something. Uh, I set my alarm to 10 so that I could wake up in time for the temperature check. So I was actually really surprised that it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I'm really sleepy, I don't know why my eyes are teary. It's in the far distance, but... We can see some landmarks, I think that's a landmark, I'm not so sure. And this is some bridge that I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty cool. Lots of cars. Oh my gosh, I see. Pedestrians! <gasps> that's a very, very large road they are walking across. Oh, more pedestrians. It's raining again right now, and wow, I, as you can see, you literally can't see past the river anymore. The rain has become even worse now, you can't see like, you can't even see the river. I'm also drinking this Anmu Si thing. My dad actually did, uh, got it delivered along with some other essential items like milk and water. And what's interesting is that um, only certain foods and drinks can get through because if, if not, they'll confiscate it and then they need to like uh, spray it and sanitize it. It's tough something and I've just spent the past. Today was really unproductive and I just spent it lazing around. But look, I have like hair clips. 
my friend. Okay, but anyway, that was not important. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night.